What's going on Facebook? Carlos here, waiting for my car to be delivered to me by Lux Valet. I'm here in beautiful San Francisco where the sun is setting and just want to come on here real quick guys because I get it. Emotions today are sky high. I've been sitting back, I've been reading what a lot of my friends who I love and respect and admire are saying here on social media. The election happened, Donald Trump is our president. And you know what, in case no one has told you this today, let me be the first to tell you, it's going to be okay. I promise you. I, myself, in 2008, the day after President Obama got elected, drove to work that morning and I was laid off. And this was during the recession. This is when, November 2008, 500,000 other Americans also lost their job. And you know what, guys? If there's anything that I can say to anyone out there that's watching this right now is, I survived. You guys out there survived the recession. You all survived. Life goes on. So I say this with all the love and kindness and respect to all you guys out there, because guess what? Bickering, fighting, going back and forth, losing friends, losing acquaintances, pissing people off on social media, that's not the solution. Good old John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. That's what this is all about, guys. Elected officials and presidents, they're just that. They're people with titles and positions of power, but they do not control your destiny. They do not control your happiness. Guess what? You're in control of your destiny. I'm in control of my destiny. I'm in control of my happiness. You're in control of your happiness. And no one else. Don't lose your state of mind and don't allow yourself to be emotionally and physically affected because of an election or because of what you see people posting on social media. It's just, it's, it's not worth it at all at the end of the day. So just wanna leave you on that, guys. Once again, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. If there is something that government is not doing for you, guess what? You have the ability to go out and write to your congressmen, write to your senators, get involved. Use social media for activism. Come on, guys. When I lost my job in 2008, I used this as a tool to help people find jobs and to talk about how crappy it was that people like me were losing their jobs while yet executives were getting these golden parachutes. I didn't cry about it. I got to work. That's what anyone out there who doesn't like this system the way it is, get to work and do something about it. This isn't a third world country. No one's gonna go out and hang you because you go out and you voice your opinion, but do it tactfully. And guess what guys, creating these arguments here on social media, it's not the way. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, male, female, gay, lesbian, it doesn't matter. I've got your back. And you know what? There's other people here that got your back too, but be tactful in how you use this as a tool for greater good and to build people up and not tear people down. That's real talk, guys. Hope you appreciate this. Peace. Be sure to go to my website, carlosgill.biz. Holler.